I, I, I'm feeling like you girls, y'all are sleeping on this one. And I have them all, but your girl don't use them. Oh, but oh my gosh. <laughs> What is up, my love does? Welcome back to my channel. Um, please disregard if you hear like a noise in the background because it is currently raining in LA. But hey, this filming must continue. So in today's video, I wanna share with you guys um, some body mists that I've been sleeping on. I have really been sleeping on these body mists and I felt like I wanted to share these with you guys. Some of these I may have already shared, but we gonna share them again because these are really some um, slept on body mists in my opinion that have a really good scent. Um, they're really unique. It's, they're definitely staple scents. And I know a lot of you guys, my love doves, you guys will know some of these scents and be familiar with them but they're not all Bath & Body Works. We have a couple of other brands here, but y'all know the majority of them are Bath & Body Works body mist. So if you are interested in seeing some of these slept on body mists in my collection that you need if you don't already have them, keep watching. Okay, so the first body mist, this one by far is one of my favorite body mists that Bath & Body Works came out with. This was part of their fall collection. I really, and I've said this in another video, but I really don't hear you girls talking about this scent. And this really is a, an amazing scent. It reminds me so much of the Sol de Janeiro Win in Rio body mist that they came out with. And this is just like giving that girl for real. And that is together with up. This one is just, ugh. It just has this fresh, juicy scent about it. The fragrance notes are Blushing Breeze, Sugared Cardamom, and Soft Cedar. And it's just that girl. It just has this very juicy but elegant feminine scent. And I don't even know if I've seen this in the store anymore after the fall time. I don't know what's going on about the Body Works, but if you have not made this a staple scent, a forever scent, y'all need to do that because this is just that girl that y'all is sleeping on, okay? But comment below if you have this, if you smelled it, what your thoughts are because I really don't hear anyone talking about this scent. The next one, I believe this may be a discontinued scent and they only bring it back randomly during SAS. So I really want to hear from you all. Let me know if this is a scent that's, um, that has been retired. I really think it is because when I go in Bath the Body Works, I don't see it. But this is definitely that girl as well. And that is Denim and Daisies. This scent, you guys, is just like, imagine it's summertime. You have on your cute blue jeans. You have on a cute little tube top, your cute little shoulder bag. And you know you're at a festival. You know you're just at the mall. You're chilling. You're outside. You're vibing. But you know you're feeling pretty. And you want to just have that nice summer, like fun, flirty scent. Right here. <laughs> this one was just super unique when I smelled it in the store. I actually smelled it and I'm like, hmm, and I put it down and then I kept, you know, walking around the store and I'm like, nah, I need denim and daisies. It's just a very pretty summer flirty girl scent and the fragrance notes are sweet daisies, sun soaked denim. <laughs> you know, Bath the Body Works, they're going to give you some notes that don't make no sense. And summer citrus. And y'all know how I feel about those citrusy, tropical type fruity scents. But this is definitely um, giving like a more daisy scent than anything. And it's just a very pretty flirty scent. You're going to get into someone's car or they're going to get into your car and immediately be like, oh my gosh. What are you wearing? Because this is just a very beautiful scent, you all. So Denim and Daisies is definitely one I don't hear about and is definitely being slept on. Okay, this next scent, I don't feel like it's being slept on because I feel I've seen a couple girls 
and everyone that's pretty much reviewed this say that they like the scent. I've probably only seen one person say that they really didn't like. I didn't. It was on a review um, on Bath and Body Works where they were like, mm, I don't really like the scent. But everyone that's actually did a review that I've watched, they like this scent. Um, but still, I don't see a lot of people talking about this scent. And that is Sweetheart Cherry. And Sweetheart Cherry, a lot of, um, I know some people were trying to say that this was a dupe for the Kayali Yum Pistachio. It could be. This is actually going to be a better dupe for that than that new pistachio scent from Finery Fragrance. This is definitely more on the vibe of the Kayali. Um, and it has, but it still has its own unique scent to it. And the notes are wild cherry, crushed pistachio with vanilla. So this is for my girls that are really into the gourmand sweet scent, but you like that nice cherry layer to it. So I would highly recommend this one. I don't see a lot of girls talking about it like I mentioned. And when I first bought this body mist, I was definitely sleeping on this one. I liked it, but it was like, oh, whatever. But the more that I sprayed this and now that I bought the body cream to layer, we in there, honey. So yes, yeah, Sweetheart Cherry is one of those that you have to have in your collection. Keep in mind, you guys, you guys may not be sleeping on these scents, but these are scents that I for sure was sleeping on. And I just had to organize and put, you know, get some of my body mist together. And as I was organizing, this is how I came about this video because I'm like, I don't even use these scents. And I got to smelling them and it reminded me, why aren't you using these scents? Because they all smell amazing in my opinion. So the next one is Sweet Petal Pound Cake. And this, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, this came out at, at the same time as the lemon pound cake. And I gravitated more towards the lemon pound cake than this one. But let me tell y'all, Sweet Petal Pound Cake is in its own league. Ooh, it just has this very, I call everything pretty, but it just has this very pretty, unique scent to it. The fragrance notes are candied rose, raspberry swirl, and frosted bun cake. So this is another gourmand scent for my girls that just like that sweet, pretty scent. And oh, it, it's a very unique, it, and it doesn't, I have to tell you, when I first smelled this one, it wasn't given what I thought it was gonna give. I thought this was gonna be more on the same vibe as the strawberry pound cake, but this has a more like fresh scent, if that makes sense, than a gourmand scent, but it still is borderlining as a gourmand scent. But it, ooh, it just smells good. You're gonna wanna smell it over and over again that I was definitely sleeping on y'all. All right, this next one, this, I'm not sure if this is a retired scent from Bath & Body Works because I did get it during the SAS um, summer event. And this one is smells good as well. I feel like this might have been, I don't know if this was in the Groovy Collection because obviously the Groovy Collection is um, retired and they only brought it back during SAS, but that is Golden Sunflower. So this is another one that is perfect for the summertime. It aligns with that denim and daisies when you just want that summertime fine vibe going. The fragrance notes are sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. So, ooh, let me spray this, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ooh, this is pretty. This is pretty. This is one that, as you can see, I haven't even started wearing. Smelled it in the store and literally smelling this now. It's like, girl, why haven't you been wearing this? <laughs> Ooh, that smells good. You can smell the vanilla in there, that orange flower. It has that the sunflower layer to it. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you guys have this one, Golden sunflower oh that smells so pretty and this would go good i think with like a sunflower perfume if you guys have any like sunflower perfumes this would be great to layer oh this is pretty i wish i would have got the body cream to go with this but yeah golden sunflower definitely a great summer vibe going 
Okay, this next one, I actually bought the whole collection and I really don't mess with none of the scents and they are beautiful scents and I can't understand. I don't know if it's the look of this bottle <laughs> or what it is, but I just do not pick these up, but they smell amazing. All of the damn from this collection smell amazing. And I know some of you girls actually mentioned these scents in my comments like, get this scent review this scent and i have them all but your girl don't use them and that is gingham gingham and i specifically wanted to shout out gingham fresh the green one because besides the pink one i know you all know about the pink one but this green one smells amazing oh my goodness it's just a bold pretty fresh scent um you definitely Smell that pear in there. The notes are juicy pear, sparkling clementine, and fresh daisies. And this is just in a league of its own. But your girl don't wear it. If you guys have a good, um, and I'm already thinking in my head, a good combo to go with this, let me know in the comments. But that whole gingham collection is great. My favorite is the pink one. And then I think this would be the next one. And I think my least favorite is that purple one, which I have but this smells so good and it's almost reminding me of another body spray i'm gonna show you guys later but yeah i've just been sleeping on these gingham this whole gingham collection and i don't know why because it smells amazing this next body mist i i haven't been sleeping on okay i spray this one probably every other day if not every day but I don't see a lot of people talking about this one. I feel like this is a very classic gourmand scent and that all of you guys should have in your collection if you are a gourmand girl and that is warm vanilla sugar. I feel like Bath and Body Works, they did their thing when it came to this vanilla scent. You know, every vanilla scent ain't equal, y'all, okay? <laughs> there are some vanilla scents that I smell and I'm like, what, what vanilla are they talking about? Because I'm not getting the vanilla vibe. But Bath and Body Works, they did it with this warm vanilla sugar scent. The name of it is really perfect. It's definitely giving a warm vanilla sugar vibe. The fragrance notes are intoxicating vanilla, which it definitely intoxicates, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood, and this is the perfect vanilla scent to pair with all of your gourmand perfumes, and I love it, and I just don't hear a lot of people talking about it. It smells great. You can wear it all day, every day. It's not an annoying scent. And I love it. I have the body wash, I have the body cream, and I will forever have this one in my collection. Okay, y'all, I definitely need some answers on this one because it's like 50-50 right now with you girls in my comments on this particular spray, but I still don't see a lot of people talking about this particular scent. And I really think Bath & Body Works did their thing with this scent and, um, I love it. I don't use it as much as I should, but this is one of their top scents. I think in their top 10 scents, this falls into that category, and that is Dahlia. I know I had some of you girls comment, like I can't even, I think it may have been one of you that commented that I can't, or two of you guys who commented that you can't stand this scent. It doesn't go with your body chemistry, which is totally understandable, but oh my gosh. <laughs> This scent is just, it makes me so happy. As soon as I open it up and smell it, y'all look. <laughs> I'm acting a fool because this scent is just everything. Like it doesn't even smell, I'm sorry, this may sound crazy, but it doesn't even smell like it came from Bath and Body Works. It smelled like if, if you were blindfolded and you smelled this scent, you would be like, oh my goodness, what expensive scent is this? Because that's, in my opinion, how it smells. The notes are Velvet Dahlia, Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear. They use a lot of pear in their scents. Um, Praline Musk and Whip Tonka Bean. So this, to me, I, I'm not getting the gourmand in this. I'm just getting this very pretty. I think I smell... I smell the pear more than the um, praline musk and the whip tonka bean. But this, oh my gosh, this is in my top three. Dahlia is in my top three. 
And let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do like my top, top scents. And it doesn't just have to be bad the Body Works, but maybe I could do like my favorite ever scents that I own. But this one right her, this is, this is it. This is it. Y'all need Dahlia. Okay, the next scent, I'm so serious with you guys. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this scent. Um, and this one I just pretty much discovered during the last sass, and that is Satin Slippers. Now, I was sleeping on Satin Slippers. If y'all remember about six videos ago, maybe longer than that, um, I was sleeping on it. I thought that I had picked up Ballet Nights, and I had actually picked up Satin Slippers, but after smelling this several times, this is fire. It might be better than Ballet Nights. Um, the fragrance notes are White Rose, Dreamy Jasmine, and Airy Musk. So I'm promising myself today that I'm going to start wearing this scent because it's just a very, ooh, fresh. It, it's fresh. If you want to be that, that girl that smells fresh, this is the scent that you need. Oh, that smells so pretty. It's just like that classic, pretty fresh girl not annoying smell not a loud smell just a very pretty fresh scent this is amazing mm, 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 mm. so yeah about satin slippers i was about to say ballet night satin slippers is definitely one you want in your collection i've been sleeping on you girl but you got me today so satin slippers for the win and then the last Bath and Body Works scent that we have that and you, you guys probably could tell just from looking at the packaging um, that, I don't know, I, I'm feeling like you girls, y'all are sleeping on this one, but I'm not sleeping because this is one of by far my favorite scents and that is Butterfly. Butterfly is for sure in my top, I'm going to say my top 10. It was in my top five, but I have to say my top 10 because every time that I go on Bath the Body Works, I'm finding more and more scents that I'm discovering that are becoming my favorite. But Butterfly will always for sure be in my top 10. Ooh, let me spray it. Yeah. Mmm, it smells good, but you know what's sad? You know what's sad, you guys? Now that I'm just discovering all these other scents, and y'all know that I just discovered Into the Night, and that's definitely in my five. Um, Butterfly, it smells good, but girl, you done moved down. So <laughs> she's still in my top 10. Still a pretty scent. The notes are Raspberry Nectar, Iris Petals, and Airy Vanilla. Definitely still in my top 10. It's a pretty scent, pretty springtime summer scent but I definitely have to knock her down a couple notches, but I don't hear a lot of you guys talking about it. I have the body wash. I believe I might have the body cream, but she, she, she's a go. She is a go. Okay, so another scent that I have here that is by Mix Bar. If you don't know, Mix Bar is a body mist line that is in Target, and I bought this, um, particular body mist probably at least over a year ago and it has literally set in my perfume little um what do you call that y'all know the little tear thing I can't even think today it has it has been sitting there forever and I just recently went back and I'm like let me spray this and y'all this is the perfect vanilla um but it has like a little let me just tell y'all this is uh Mix Bars Vanilla Bourbon. And you guys, this just smells great. I don't know what I was thinking, why, why I had it in the back of my perfume collection, but it's amazing. It's another perfect, and look, you can see all the little dust around here because really, y'all, I have not been using this, but it just has this perfect vanilla. Let me spray it. Mm, it has this unique vanilla. Imagine the perfect vanilla scent, but then like you get a whisk of that bourbon. Ooh, it just, it, it's a very pretty scent. And I like too that this is not only a hair, but a body mist. So you could just spray it all over 
and it really smells good. So I haven't bought any of um of any other mix bar since. So let me know if you guys have and what your favorites are. I haven't really got into the mix bar collection, but this vanilla and bourbon is so good, you you guys. And don't worry, you won't smell like bourbon. That bourbon is just like a light scent. It's like a light scent of bourbon once it dries down, but it just really has this pretty vanilla scent. I think that this would be great again to pair with this almost would smell good with um that Kaoli vanilla oud. I think those two would pair really good together because that Kaoli oud vanilla oud is not really like a fit, it's a feminine um vanilla scent, but it's more on like the earthy woodsy type um vibe. So I really feel like those two, I'm gonna have to try that. I feel like those two would go really good together, but yeah. Mixed bars, vanilla, bourbon, really, really good. Don't hear a lot of people really talking about mixed bar at all. Okay, the next scent is a body mist from Finery. I've had this for a very long time, and this is a really good scent that I don't wear a lot. I really don't know why I don't wear it a lot because I am in love with this scent. It is definitely a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, and y'all probably already know, but that is not another cherry. This scent it's good. This may even be better than the Tom Ford version. It just, it smells great. It just has a very powerful cherry woodsy scent. The only thing I must say is you definitely need to layer this with a good body oil or a good um, lotion or um, let, combo it with maybe Tom Ford Lost Cherry or another similar scent because these finery body mists do not last. I think I won't be buying any more of their body mists and I'm gonna venture into their perfumes because these finery scents are amazing. If you haven't seen my last video, I will link it here where I um, bought a, a couple of their new scents that I'm in love with, but these don't last and I need them to last because they smell that good. So this Not Another Cherry is really, really great. Don't waste your money on Tom Ford's Lost Cherry because they really did their thing with this dupe. And I don't know why I don't wear this because this is a really great scent. This is a great year-round scent. Let me spray it. Mm, 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 mm. And it's yummy. This, y'all, this and this. I think, you're, I think it, the scent would last a whole lot lo longer. I think the scent will last, I am so tongue tied today. I think <laughs> the scent would last great if you paired the Not Another Cherry and the Sweetheart together. I think this would be a really, really, really great combination. Okay, and then the last body mist that I have that is a classic, I've been wearing this probably since high school and this will always be in my collection. I sleep on it constantly, but I still wanted to shout it out because it's just that perfect out of the shower scent when you're just chilling around the house or maybe you wanna run errands and you just want a light, a light nice scent. Victoria Secrets Pear Glaze. I believe that's how you say it. this. Oh. This scent will never get old to me, y'all. I've been smelling this scent for decades and it just will not get old. It will not get old to me. So it says sugared pear, dewy melon, ooh la la la, and ooh la 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 is right. It's just, and, and, and like I mentioned to you guys earlier, I was gonna say that this Gingham Fresh, when I smelled it, I thought it was giving this pear one, but nah, this pear, body mist right here is on a level on its own it's just i can't let me know if you guys have this or if you remember how this smells this scent oh it is just pretty i will never get tired of this this has always been my favorite victoria's secret body mist scent and it will continue to be because it's just this pretty it's like a young flirty fun vibey scent and the pear, it's like a unique pear scent that I will never get over. I feel like one of my aunts used to wear this and I used to smell this on her. I think Jada, if you're watching this on Jada, I feel like you were wearing this. Somebody, you or Aunt Sharon 
were wearing this scent and that's what attracted me to buy this scent when I was younger. And it's just a classic scent. And I know I see some girls shouting out Victoria's Secret Body Mist, but this is not one to be ignored. And that is it, you guys. Those are all the body mists that I discovered once I started organizing my body mist that your girl has been sleeping on. Or I just haven't heard any of you girlies out there talking about them that you have to have in your collection. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and you know that we are going to go ahead and get into a little word of encouragement. I definitely want you guys to follow my new channel that I will have linked in the description box. And I feel like God is not feel like I know that God has called me to create that channel to just inspire and encourage others to grow a better relationship with God. So please make sure that you guys support that channel by liking and subscribing to it. And today's word is actually coming from Psalms chapter 37, four. And this is a word that I did give um, on my TikTok and um, it may have been TikTok or Instagram, but you guys make sure that you please follow your girl on all my social media handles because I'm always active on my TikTok and my Instagram. You can catch up with me if it's been a while, you, which it won't be too long, but you know, I obviously, you know, don't post every single day on YouTube, but you can catch me on especially Instagram every day, whether I'm posting a reel or I'm posting on my story. So make sure that you are following me on my other social medias. I also have links, you guys, to like some of my favorite curated um, clothes and beauty products. So just make sure that you check out the description box. But anyway, back to this word. So this is from Psalms chapter 37 verse 4 you guys the enemy is trying to tongue tie me so it says take delight in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart so i really had to read that you guys this morning like at least four times to really get in my heart what that scripture means and basically what that scripture is saying is you know, we always pray and a lot of times we think, okay, well, I need to pray to God so that he can hear me and know what I want in life. Okay, I want this job promotion. I need this new car. I need these bills paid. I need an approval on this home that I want. The only thing about it is a lot of times God is not answering those prayers because you're not seeking God wholeheartedly. You know, you need to delight yourself in the Lord, which means to seek the Lord. And when you seek the Lord and you are in heavy prayer and you are growing your relationship with God and you're doing the things that God needs you to do, then what's going to happen is he's going to align your heart with what his desires are. And then when your heart is aligned with his desires for your life, then guess what's going to happen? Then all of a sudden you're praying for things that God wanted from you, wanted for you from the get go. And then all of your prayers are just going to start being answered. So I was blown away when I heard that because it's like, if you're praying for something and it's just been years and you're still wanting this thing and it just ain't manifested, it's probably because either God doesn't want that desire for you or first he wants you to seek him wholeheartedly and sacrifice some things and then he will give you um, your heart's desire. So I hope that helps someone. Um, I hope that encourage you guys to just spend more time in the word of God and growing your relationship with him. And if you are new here, I wanna welcome you to the BJD gang 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 <laughs> welcome you are now a love dove if you hit that subscribe button i love all of you guys i want you guys to stay encouraged i want you guys to be growing your faith and growing your relationship with god because i love you but god loves you more so anyway i hope to chit chat with you guys as always in the comments and i will see y'all in my next video peace